Hey guys, Brian Goes Blue. And Coco too. Wait on there. <laughs> <laughs> We're it's... finally doing a room tour. Finally doing a room tour right now. So yeah, stay tuned and we're going to be showing you the rest, uh, all of the room that you haven't seen. I mean, you've seen most of it in the videos, but we're going to go a little bit in depth here. So hang tight and Take it away, Brian. here we go. All right, opening the door. Here's the room, guys. This is what we see when we walk into our movie room. Top to bottom. All the movies. Yep, a little more in depth that we're gonna go. So we got over here, when we walk into the room, we got a couple of signed posters, signed pictures. Dear Brian, stay tall. This is from Lawrence Monison of The Last American Virgin. Met him like five or six years ago, maybe a little longer. Um, this is to Brian, Chucky Did It, Alex Vincent, the little kid from Child's Play. We got Trick or Treat Lollipop. We got a Grindhouse Planet Terror uh, figure of Dakota, which my friend got me for my birthday one year. Got Red Brum. This is uh, from Horror Block, I think. I used to be subscribed subscribe to Horror, Horror Block, Horror Box, whatever. But yeah, that came in there. It's a little key ring. Also got Camp Crystal Lake, Friday the 13th baseball cap. Pretty cool. It says... Jason lives on the upside of it. And then I got we got a little Barbie here, a little Hocus Pocus keychain, August Burns Red lanyard from when I'm in VIP, one of their tours, my favorite band. This is a uh, Severn mid year sale from 2020 last year. I think we got two of those. Yep, we got two orders there. And moving on, we got. A few Stranger Things figures. Barb is the most easy to find. These ones are a little harder to find. Chief Hopper. And then you got Eleven. Looking for more of these figures. Eventually, we'll get some more. The Upside Down Will ones are really cool. Alright. And down here we just got some excess stuff that wouldn't fit in our closet. Our closet is jam-packed. And those are just blurs I'm trying to sell. So, over here we got this bookcase. We got um, a Love Andrews bag there. Some Harry Potter Lego that we've done. Over here is the bookcase. None of these books are mine except for John Steele's. The rest of these are, are Coco's books, but this is my friend John Steele. We've made made a few books here. This is one of them. And then you got his second book. This is a, his third book is on top. And then you got first book, first book, second book, third book. So John Steele shout out. All right. We got all this crap. There are all our vinegar syndrome stuff we got to put away. More stuff. Got some posters. We got Harry Potter Lego poster, Child's Play Scream Factory poster, Return of the Living Dead Part 2, and The Burning. And then we got more stuff we haven't shown in updates yet. This was gifted to me from one of my friends, Lauren G. Rom's Reviews of Doom, back in the day. This is his Dolly Dears vs. Chucky he drew up for me. Thought it was really cool that he drew this for me. Always going to keep that forever. Then we got our pin board. We have some more pins we need to put on here, but... These are some of our pins for now. We got Scooby-Doo, Pez, my laptop, some random stuff. Now this, this says this because we got this book shelf for free, so. None of those stickers are ours, so. Alright, and up here we got our little trolls section. 
during the pandemic we watched Trolls World Tour, so we got the Lego set from it, and I got Tiny Diamond from Coco. <laughs> I got Cyberpunk, which is pretty much a NECA, I would call it that, but it's a McFarlane figure, Johnny Silverhand. Um, got Landstrider and Jen reaction figure, and the Gartham from Dark Crystal. Love those figures. Um, I got both of these at Toys R Us, but one is a Funko exclusive from 2016 Summer Convention. And then it's a Toys R Us exclusive. Over here we got our NECA shelf. Um, Maybe some of these for now. We got Creep Show, Back to Future 1 and 2, Fred 13th. This isn't our like full set room. It's always in motion, getting fixed here and there, but. Got Evil Dead 2, Trick or Treat, another Bread to the Future, Marty McFly, Tales from Space. This is the handlebar from E.T. The Ride. <laughs> Marty McFly, Night of the Creeps, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Gremlins. We do want to display these better, but for now, this is this is what we got. Um, down here, these are just a bunch of titles that we don't have space on our shelves for, and also titles that we haven't shown in updates yet, so we're going to just kind of skim on those. And then I got Dark Crystal and Labyrinth Pops. Behind these, I have every single Dark Crystal and Labyrinth Pop, as well as some of random pops here and there behind all these Blu-rays. <clears throat> Down here, we got all our VHS. And if you pull these back, you know, we have more. Mr. Nanny, Josh and Sam. Plenty of plenty of good VHS. If anybody wants to see our VHS collection, give us a comment down below and let us know. Got the Hogwarts set hanging down here. Ludo and my pet monster, Funkos. Got some recorded VHS there. And over here we got Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, Lydia Dietz, the set that I cannot part with because it's way better than the Blu-ray box set, Stranger Thing Itty Bitties, the Scooby-Doo Complete Series, Who, Where Are You, Summer Party Massacre NECA from Scream Factory, Tarantino XX, one of my favorite box sets, and then Casablanca, as well as Harry Potter steelbook collection blu-ray and back up a little bit yeah this is our blu-ray our dvd shelf this is all our dvds it's pretty much maxed out but i have to take some of the titles out that i want to that i've already upgraded to blue so some of them are not i'm not going to get rid of them like that reanimator right there i'm not going to get rid of that there's just some titles you can't part with just because the dvds are better Better than some of the Blu-ray sets. Then we got, this is what we call the catalog shelf. I mean, I can get a little bit further in detail here if you want. want to do a full collection of review someday so we get more in depth of these titles but for now this will do it's been a long time coming Down at the bottom. It's hard getting down there sometimes when you're six foot nine. And over here we got Camp Crystal Lake. Got this at uh, um, Spirit Halloween last October, and I thought it was really cool. It's like a plaque, and I have a Jason reaction figure on top there, as well as my reanimator figure that I got from uh, Spooky Empire this this year, a couple months ago. 
or last month. And down over here we have the TV collection. TV on DVD and Blu-ray, I just got them mixed in here. And then these kind of finish up around the corner here. So let me tie to season three. You got the strain pop there. But yeah, some of these series aren't complete, but it's what I got for now. And over here we got Terminator Genesis, which is, I've heard, the worst Terminator movie. But I got that for like 10 bucks, and it was the Endo Skull, so cool. Scar Rope Box, Phantasm box set arrow reanimator arrow I just put some of my favorites on top here killer crowns from outer space is coco's favorite creep show and this is the arrow collection the arrow shelf for now we're going to be getting another shelf and putting it in our bedroom i think to make more space after underneath the arrows here, I got the arrow steel books. Then after that, I got um, Second Sight. And the only indicator title I have is Heavy Birthday to Me. Then I have, besides um, Incredible Hulk, I don't have that in the steel book yet, but I have every other Marvel in a row in steel book from the MCU universe. And I got. More steel books. Not huge on collecting steel books, but if I like one, I'll get it. You got digi books here. Got some more itty bitties. Sharknado Pop Jaws. Um, that's an ornament. Coco collects Hallmark ornaments. Ghost Face got Screech. This is A24 collection after the digi books and then I got my 4k's not very beefy on the 4k's I know but I'm doing all right for now and the 4k's in there for Paramount Presents then these are what I call like the multi-packs dual double pack section and then after that we got box sets and I include 4Ks in the, in the box sets. And at the bottom there you saw the rest of the TV shows. And up top, second shelf in here. We got the Fly Collection, Creep Show, Friday the 13th, Deluxe, Midsommar, Director's Cut, my sealed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood set. Um, and then this is this is a screen factory right here. This is I'm go back behind the couch here. But yeah, that's pretty much all all scream and shout all the way down till like right here. So all that's 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 the money right there. Let's scream and shout. And we have a horror everything I try to get every collector's edition with the slip but you can't get every single one with the slip it's almost impossible but everyone that I have uh, has a slip except for life force so I got a lot of out, out of print stuff in here too. So, Freaks and Geeks is a shout box set, so I put that there. And that's where shout starts. And then when the regular shout titles end of UHF, then it goes into the shout selects, and I category those by the number of the shout select title. 
not right alphabetical for that one. Then we got the MVD Rewind Collection. I have every title so far. Synapse. Blue Underground. You got all the best rounds. 88 Films. Grindhouse Releasing. Code Red. Dark Force. Got some Twilight Time. Full Moon. I had to put the full, full Moon in the middle of the Twilight Time here. Because that box that was just too big. Umbrella. Severin Films. Mondo Macabro. More Severin. And then down here I got the Warner Archive collection. Got Ash vs. Evil Dead Pops. Got Ren and Snippy. Got Bucky. Creep Show. And Will Graham from Hannibal. Got that 70 Show. Classic Monsters set. Wizard of Oz box set. Stranger Things 1 and 2. Demic Organ up there. This is a Disney shelf. All the Disneys. All the Disneys with slips. Can't have a Disney without a slip. It's the way we are. Then we got Disney Movie Club Collection. All the O's find up looking good together. Alright, that's it for the Disney's. And then we got Vinegar Centrum. Got that little divider there. Bought it off their site. Pretty cool. Couple box sets. All the slip copies. All the non-slipped copies, VSAs, and then the other end of the divider is the end book end of that. I'll keep my Fun City editions there too, as well as Agfa, because they're all sold on their website as well. We got Scorpion releasing next. Billy Madison, Danny McGrath, Harley Quinn. There's some more Scorpion. Then we got the All Films collection. Got quite a bit of All Films here. And it goes right into um, Kino Lorber. I want to get more of these releases. The um, Something Weird Kino Clavos. Those are cool. So all these Kinos. And then we go to Mill Creek at the bottom. The Andy Sedaris collection. And that's it. Got a couple more pops here. We got Alita, got Orm for Alien Covenant, um, Dracula, Hellraiser, a couple of the Vinegar Syndrome mini. Um, slip covers, and then I got this from Mr. Parka. Won one of his contests, the zombie wall banner. Really cool. And yeah, that's it from the room, guys. So yeah, this is where we sit when we film the videos. 
Got the cool horror rug here from uh, Creepy Co. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to take you out, out front out for the rest of the tour. Who's behind the door there? Hi. Oh, hello, Harry. I was, <laughs> I was wondering if I could show you my Harry Potter collection. <laughs> let, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's dive in. <laughs> this is only part of it. Got the plushies up there. Don't forget Dobby. <laughs> Some Lego. I haven't unboxed this yet. That's Ro uh, Rowena. Ra Why can't I talk? Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem, the crown, the noble collection one. Hmm. I need to take that out of there. Some Pez. Just some random stuff. All my wands, which this one that you're seeing here is my one I got chosen for. It's an interactive. It's an interactive wand. Mm -hmm. Well, the wand chose me. The one chooses the wizard or witch in this case i'm the witch <laughs> <laughs> um and then down here these are coloring books pop-up books poster books all kinds like all kinds of books i painted that jar because i'm gryffindor team gryffindor those are my dvds some keychains and then we got our most recent build which was the uh the burrow and yeah, the burrow. Yeah, we we, and I we built did. That we built. We built this recently. And they don't sell these pumpkin juice anymore at the Wizard and World of Harry Potter, so that's pretty cool and rare. And then, of course, I have the dolls. I got those at Walmart. They don't sell them anymore. Well, people do sell them online for way more. Uh, and then I got a couple here that aren't on aren't on display yet. These are just kind of on the floor. I need to like find them a home. They got Ginny and that. You got the Marauder's Map. The Marauder's Map. This actually opens up. And I've, we've got to get it hung. But, like, this front case opens up and then the whole map is there. And then, um, we've got Fenrir Greyback, the werewolf. i got to get him up. And we've got Harry Potter, which you can <laughs> see how much I paid for that, clearly. And then, one of my favorites, my mom got me this, is the Mirror of Erised. And that can be stood up or hung i want to hang it though that's one of my favorite pieces and then did you show the bottom the books mm -mm. believe it or not i'm ashamed to say this i'm a harry potter fan and i have not read the cursed child yet i know shame on me and then you got dumbledore and then my broom i got that at the goodwill when i dressed up as harry potter one year for halloween the goodwill the broom Mhm. Mm i got it there and a cloak because I have not spent $100 on a Wizarding World of Harry Potter cloak. So. And then, if you're ever feeling like you need some luck, we have some Felix Felicis. So if you ever need some luck at work, you can drink this and you'll be good to go. I'm not going to drink that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't drink it then. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to... Whoa, that's very close to my face. <laughs> we are going to... Um... Cut it here and take you to the Criterion Collection. Got this piece from a convention about five or six years ago too. Uh, American Monroe from London. We did see David Naughton recently. Very cool. And we'll cut here and we'll go to the Criterion Collection. When we first walk into, we'll show the Criterion Collection in a second, but when we first walk into our apartment, I got on our right side, we got the Kindergarten Cop poster. So yeah. Kind of had to have this poster whenever I saw somebody on Facebook Marketplace selling it, so. Yep, and then we pan over. We got their Criterion Collection with Gizmo on top and the red car. And then our dog is right at the bottom of the shelf right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is, the, this is the shelf I keep the Criterions on. I have some room to grow. They've got a couple more shelves at the bottom. But yeah, these are all our Criterions right now. The perfect little nook for the it criterions. is it is like a perfect little spot in here for the criterions and the bottom is the jason tin that i'm gonna try to sell so if anybody wants that let me know and then 
We'll flip it around. So the Wizard of Oz collection. Wizard of Oz collection. So all of these I bought on Facebook Marketplace. All the dolls. I know. I collect Barbies. Sue me. These are really cool though. They Check are really this out. Cool. Check out the little munchkins. <laughs> Tommy and Kelly. <laughs> yep. Those are probably my fave. And then I have all of these. These are actually starting to sell for like decent money per per doll. Um, the only one that's not like the others is the Wicked Witch. My mom got me that one special. Dorothy and Glinda. This Wicked Witch, that's a special one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's really cool. Mm -hmm. They're all really cool. Yeah. Scarecrow. Tin Man. Cowardly Lion. And then we got the... <laughs> the potato heads. The Those potato are also heads. Facebook Marketplace. Finds. These are really funny though. Mm-hmm. And then these you got me. My McDonald's. Yeah, that's a scratch. I mean, it scratched. And I got these. Um, these are actually from. Oh, not McDonald's. Yeah. They're from Blockbuster. Yep. They're pretty cool. And uh, when you move them, they move. They move. <laughs> That's cool. And then before you go further down, this is a picture that lights up. Actually, I don't even think you knew that. Yeah, it, it does. takes batteries and it lights up the like Emerald City. Yeah. So that's a canvas we need to hang. And then this one. This is like a tin. There's no place like home. So I'll probably yep. hang this in the foyer. And down here, next shelf down. We've got. That's where. This is where we keep all our loose. Change. All our loose change goes in the tin man. We feed the tin man every every time we can. And then you you saw this tin man in one of our videos. Yep. Snow globe. Okay. Just some like. This is all stuff that my family has bought me over the years. Um, for birthdays and Christmas and stuff. You can see her little feet hanging. It's mostly Hallmark stuff. Some salt and pepper shakers. But I keep like the spare. I don't even think I've seen those. No? No. Um. No, not me seeing I've seen the top ones, but not these ones. These oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, because they're hidden behind us. And we got your, your Wizard of Oz collection. Yep, all the extra movies. The extra movies. Yep. We got a, the VHS clamshell back there and then the VHS that I got you mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day. Yep. Yep. A little keepsake ornament in there. This is a special book from Hallmark and it's got Glinda and Dorothy. And then these are like the full, like all the, the L. Frank Baum books. And then just some extra like special ones. These are my favorite, these bookends. My dad got yeah. me those. those. Those are awesome. Dorothy Shoe bookends. Come here, Diva. She wants to be in on the action. There's the Dorothy piggy bank. That's a uh, the Grimmery from Wicked, the musical. That's a little Toto that I got at Ross. Like, it's not Toto, but it is. My sister got me this um, uh, art at a convention that she went to. And then back there is some... Well, that's a sparkly bag. <laughs> I forgot that was under there. And then the uh, Wizard of Oz glasses they look bigger than they do they're not pint glasses yeah they're 10 ounce glasses so. yeah so yeah that's the wizard of oz collection and there's like a whole bin over here of other wizard of oz stuff that we need to get a bigger shelf we're gonna need a bigger shelf we're gonna need a bigger apartment <laughs> well this is the living room and i know we're going deep into our place here um universal studios florida poster i love that one got that one for coco before you moved in um, creep show poster, which I've had for this forever. This Mondo poster, I think it goes for like 300 bucks right now. It's crazy. Um, got my vinyl player, um, pretty woman, <laughs> um, speakers that my uncle gave me a long time ago. Got uh, above the TV, we have uh, Carrie and the Living Return of the Living Dead right now. We switched those out. With other Scream Frederick posters as well as the thing over there. We switch, switch those three out every once in a while. For Valentine's Day, we had my bloody Valentine and Valentine up there. Um, Gremlins, which is signed by Zach Galligan, who I met. And then we got our Universal Cups we got from Universal Studios recently. And then I got the Xbox, uh, Xbox One right there, Xbox One X. We got our 55-inch TV soundbar we don't use because we use the surround sound now. 
uh, 4K player, Panasonic. We got region free Blu ray player, or a mini Nintendo, VCR, and the Yamaha receiver I've had since I was like 15 years old. <laughs> That's pretty much that. Our jukebox. Did you show that? No, I didn't show the jukebox. Can I turn it on? Sure. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh, it's not in. plugged in, but wah, it, it, wah, it lights wah. up. We got a big piano here. And the last thing we're going to show in this collection is this shelf here. Um, yep, August Burns Red, signed. Favorite band. And then we got family photos. We got my vinyl collection. Our vinyl collection. <laughs> Yeah, it's so, kind of hard to get it at that It's angle. hard to get it at the angle, but yeah, it's all the vinyl there. And we have a couple more posters, so we'll cut and show you those. Yep. Yeah, I put the uh, Pride of the 13th poster right here. The 40th anniversary one. It's kind of got a glare, but oh well. Then turn around our living room. Get the table. We got great movie ride poster. And Runaway Railway. All right, guys. So that was it for our room tour um, slash half of our apartment tour. Yeah, it kind <laughs> of extended past the room, but yeah. we wanted to show you all of our collection stuff. You asked for it. We finally gave it to you. So if you uh, want any more videos, um, let us know down below. I mean, any, anything, anything else? If, if you want to see anything else in more detail, yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, thanks for checking us out. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything. Love you guys. Um, Brian Goes Blue. And Coco too. Signing off. Bye.